And time for tonight's big story. We're going to get right to this as well. See, last week we promised you that we'd devote some more attention to how this pandemic is impacting people who are homeless in Portland. And this week, I think we've tried our best to do that. We've talked to people who are out there living on the streets. We updated you on the work to open Wapato Jail as a shelter. We checked in with the newspaper Street Roots, which covers homelessness and other issues. And tonight, well, tonight we want to keep things going by dr drilling down deeper on one of our viewer questions. Roger wrote in recently and asked, has there been a study to estimate how many more people will be homeless with the pandemic? So Roger, the short answer, well, the short answer is yes, uh, there has. And it's about as bad as you would imagine. It's pretty bleak, actually. That said, it is a national study. So we've got national numbers to show you exactly what that will mean for us here locally, what it could mean for Portland's already existing housing crisis. Well, that's a little bit more complicated. Here's Maggie Vespa. We'll start with that national study. To be honest, we'd start with local numbers if we could, but as one official put it, data tends to, to lag. So the national stats are all we have. That said, they're staggering. According to researchers at Columbia University, job losses and economic hardship created by the COVID-19 pandemic could result in a 40 to 45 percent spike in homelessness nationwide. They expect that spike to manifest on America's streets and in its shelters by the end of the year. While that could vary city to city, let's look at what it could mean for Portland. According to the last count conducted in 2019, there are an estimated 4,015 people experiencing homelessness right now in Multnomah County. Close to half live in shelters, emergency housing, or they crash with family or friends. The rest, an estimated 2,037, are what's called unsheltered, meaning they literally sleep outside. A 45% spike in those numbers would make for total close to 5,800 people homeless, with nearly 3,000 of them sleeping outside. Again, that's how local numbers would be impacted based on national projections. Local projections aren't available yet. When we brought our cameras downtown last week, the tents and camps were noticeable. Stephen Hawes said the people living in them are just as stressed out by this pandemic as anyone. You know, a lot of stress. A lot of anger and, uh, uh, you know, just not being able to get close to each other is, is really hard. Business owners told us they think downtown's homeless population has increased. Jen Causey said she felt like she saw it happening in real time while Multnomah County was closed. She drove in regularly to check in on her coffee shop, Lotus and Bean Espresso Bar. Just people in distress. Yeah, there's a lot of just people lost, more homeless, yeah. Since then, she said areas like Chinatown and the waterfront have become noticeably more crowded with camps. Causey worries both about the people who are homeless and about how it makes downtown look. Like if I was a tourist, I would not want to walk around there. It's just, it's just really intimidating and yeah. And then it's really like, I don't know. I don't know what they can do to, to help it, but it's very sad. Local service providers told us point blank, no one's counted to see if there are more people homeless downtown, but it's possible. What is true is that folks who are sleeping unsheltered, who regularly rely on libraries, um, public spaces to be able to, to, to be during the day, they don't have those resources. And so they are, you know, they're sleeping unsheltered. That said, providers say the spike in need, the one those national projections say is coming, hasn't hit Portland yet. There is every reason to be worried. And staff at the That's city and county's Florida Joint State Office of Homeless County. Services are bracing for it. Um, so far, we've had the benefits of the eviction moratorium and, and some of the protections that have been put in place um, for households. But the, the real worry for all of us is, when those protections go away and people have accumulated rent arrears. The good news is, in some ways, Multnomah County is better prepared to handle the surge in need than other parts of the country. For years now, officials have put time, effort, and funding into protections and assistance programs to keep people on the brink of homelessness from going over the edge. They've said for years, Portland's housing crisis would be far worse without those programs. Now, that infrastructure is about to be tested like never before. We're trying here locally um, with the, some of the federal dollars that have come in, some of the state dollars that have come in, and then what we can do with our, with our local budgets 
to, to prevent that from happening if we can. And that really is about making significant and rent assistance investments um, in people who, who, if we can't assist them financially, may find themselves experiencing homelessness. I'm 60 years old and my husband passed away. Last week, our crew met one of those people teetering on the edge. Sharon Bywater tells us she's in recovery from an addiction to prescription drugs. She came to Transition Projects, a service provider downtown, to get help paying her utilities. She added she's, quote, almost Never. homeless. I, you know what, I'm picking myself up off the ground. And um, I'm not going to give up. And this time I'm not turning to drugs. I'm going to fight this to the end. Okay. Uh, Maggie Vespa joining us now. So Maggie, it's people like Sharon who need to stay in their homes. They're exactly the ones we're talking about who would be a part of this spike of people who are in desperate need. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, like you heard officials say, they're just really scrambling to get ahead of that spike and to use the resources that we have here in Multnomah County and in the, in the greater metro area uh, that, that keep people in their homes. And it's worth noting, you know, the housing bond, uh, that was passed a couple of years ago is a huge factor in this, as is the Metro Homeless Services tax that was just passed um, on the primary ballot. So those are those are great funding sources that can help with these efforts. Um, as far as, you know, we really wanted, as you heard in the piece, to try to quantify the need. We're told officials say that's going to be tough as, as the need does rise. But it's worth noting that point in time count that we got our Multnomah County numbers from in this piece uh, that happens every two years. So the next one is scheduled for this coming January. And of course, that will be that'll be very telling. Yes, for sure. Maggie, thank you so much. Sure.